It's a legitimate puffin party out here right now. There are some bird species that are so iconic that they are known by the general public as opposed to just birders. One such species is the puffin. Puffins are ocean-dwelling birds known for their large bills and cute-looking features. While people often think of puffins as species living in the farthest reaches of the world, some species can actually be found in the United States. One of these species is the tufted puffin. As it turns out, tufted puffins can be found in Oregon at one of the state's most well-known natural landmarks. So we're actually on our way to Cannon Beach to hopefully get views of some tufted puffins. There's this area called Haystack Rock. It's probably one of the most well-known places in Oregon. And uh, we're hoping to get our first views of puffins ever. So pretty stoked about that. Along with our friends from Oregon, the Burden family, we arrived in the Oceanside town of Cannon Beach, where it became clear that puffins were a major part of the culture. We made our way over to Haystack Rock, a massive boulder jutting out from the ocean, where the puffins, as well as many other species, are usually seen. There we have a look at Haystack Rock, where we're stationary. We can finally actually see it, and we at first thought it was the little one to the left. It turns out it's that massive one that's just sticking out of the ocean. So we'll head over there and we'll see if we can find any cool birds. We should maybe be able to get some common murs, and we're super lucky puffins, but it seems like the puffins are a little hit or miss. As we walked closer, the scale of Haystack Rock and the sheer number of birds became apparent. The most obvious birds were the thousands of common mirrors sitting on the rocks, as well as flying by and swimming on the ocean. Other species included pelagic cormorants and western gulls. After a bit more scanning, we were able to get our lifer looks at our target bird. We got a puffin! It's on the top right, kind of in the grasses. We were making our way up and it's just this huge like incredible feature of a rock and there's all this cool landscape and all these people and birds coexisting we saw a bunch of common murders in the distance still trying to get better looks of those but our first puffin the puffins quickly moved on but we were excited to get our first looks and knew we still had two more days to try and get some more satisfying views so that puffin didn't really stay too long it was kind of sitting in that one spot and then it left and then I did see another one fly out of the colony too. But uh, what an iconic bird at an iconic location. So hopefully we can get some better looks tomorrow. But uh, what a cool place to be. We definitely recommend checking this place out if you're ever in the area. They also had uh, some people talking about like the educational stuff, like telling the differences between a puffin and a myrrh. And we saw some other birders here who will look for the puffins as well. So it's definitely captured the attention of kind of the general public and just other birders who want to come see these cool species. The next morning, we woke up early, eager to get started. Day two here in Oregon, and hopefully we're gonna get some really nice puffin views today. We're gonna head back to Cannon Beach. It looks a little gloomy out, um, so the lighting might not be the best, but um, hopefully we'll have some better luck than we did yesterday, even though we did get our life reviews then. As would be a theme each time we went back to Haystack Rock, the overall vibe was different than it had been the day prior. It's a completely different feeling than yesterday because there's a lot less people. Uh, one thing you have to think about with Haystack Rock is the tide. So as the tide comes up, you're a little further away and the tide kind of goes um, back out towards the rock. You can get a little bit closer. So it is like more high tide, but we'll see what we can do. Still seem like lots of birds, but I like that there's less people today. The overcast skies made it easier to scan the rock and we almost immediately picked out some puffins. Got two puffins on the rock on the left side. I think this is probably going to be our best view so far. After getting our best views yet of the tufted puffins, we took some time to explore the city and noticed just how much puffins have become a core piece of the tourism and fanfare surrounding Cannon Beach. Here we have one of the puffin statues, and puffins have really seeped into the culture of the city. So you'll see puffin statues, puffin themed things, puffin named things, and all in kind of uh, anticipation of people being able to see them down on Haystack Rock. So it's really become 
part of everything around this area really needs to see. After our detour through the puffin lined streets of the town of Cannon Beach, we returned to Haystack Rock once again to a different experience than earlier in the day. We're back on Cannon Beach and it is now getting to the point where it's low tide, which means that we'll pretty much be able to walk right up to Haystack Rock. And we will have an issue with the lighting, but I think it's gonna be worth it anyway to see some of the stuff in the tide pools and maybe even get a closer view of some of these birds. This time the tide was extremely low and an impressive amount of people were out looking at the tide pools as volunteers roped off parts of the beach and talked to people about the animals and habitats that could be seen there. So this is definitely the closest we've been. There's tons of people around now. Well, we'll meet you over there. And uh, it's kind of been like, you know, random people show up and like, what are you looking at? So then we help them see the puffins and we're not taking the time to like look for other stuff. But it's been really neat and I feel like there's definitely a lot of education and outreach. The volunteers are here again talking to people, which is great, making sure people don't climb on the rocks. Um, but let's see if we can get some other views, got some more distant puffins, maybe we'll find something a little closer. With the sun once again not in our favor, we got similar views of the puffins as we did on our first day. However, the low tide afforded us some new opportunities we hadn't had yet. So with tide being this low, we're actually able to come right up to the rock. So this is actually Haystack Rock here, and there's a pair of nesting black oyster catchers. We were talking to the volunteers, and they said there's like four that live on the rock. So there's a pair, one sitting, one kind of watching guard, being sleepy. But it's awesome to come up and actually like be this close. And there's just like a, every day apparently the volunteers are here at low tide to help kind of protect everything. We spent some time observing the animals in the tide pools, and checking out some of the other birds in the area as well. Eventually, we called it a day at Cannon Beach and moved on to some other areas along the coast. While we had reasonably good looks at the puffins our first two days at Haystack Rock, we still had one last morning set aside to go back. On the way, we found another puffin-themed statue, this time with the correct species represented. So here we actually have some tufted puffins, and I really like the way this one is done, showing the partnership between the two, and you can see the very distinctive tufts unlike our puffin we had over there. But either way, tons of puffin themed stuff and it's uh, been awesome to see in this community. We continued on to Haystack Rock. To our surprise, the tide was once again extremely low. The light was perfect and the puffins were putting on a show. So I think this is actually like the lowest the tide has been since we've been here. Um, but the golden hour light has given us some great views of the puffins that we did refine out here on the rocks. We've been really enjoying those. Probably gonna check out some of the tide pools over here. But I feel like every time we've come to Haystack, it's been like a slightly different experience. So if you just visit it once, you might get one experience. The puffins aren't really there. You might come back, you might get a better one. So it's been neat to be here like a couple different times during our stay. Not only could we see puffins sitting on the rock, but also flying around it with a new bird visible in flight seemingly every couple of seconds. This is probably our best looks that we've had. The light is actually in our favor and the tide is surprisingly low. Probably the lowest that we've seen so far. So the puffins are showing well in the light and we're actually able to get pretty close to them. So this is our best so far, I'd say. In breeding plumage, tufted puffins have a dark brown to black body, white faces, a bright orange bill, and namesake yellowish colored tufts on their head. In non-breeding plumage, they're much less extravagant looking, lacking the tufts and white on their face. For much of the year, tufted puffins live far out in the Pacific Ocean, but during the breeding months, they move closer to shore and can be visible from land in certain places. They can be found all the way from the coast of Southern California, north to Russia and Alaska. These sea-dwelling birds feed primarily on fish, and during breeding season can be seen bringing numerous fish to their chicks, holding them in their bill. Tufted puffins usually nest on islands or large rocks with tall grasses and soil that they can burrow into. They will also nest in sheltered rock crevices and other openings in ridges and cliffs. Keep an eye out for tufted puffins while on pelagic tours in the ocean, or look out over the water during their breeding season, and you may see them flying, especially if you happen to be near a nesting site. Certainly one of the best places to see these birds, though, is Haystack Rock at Cannon Beach. So I think this is the most active the puffins have been since we've gotten here um, in any of the days that we visited because they are just constantly flying off, coming back to the rock. You'll see one, the land, you'll be like, oh, there's five more in there where it just landed and then they'll take off again. 
It's a super captivating experience. It's really hard to pull yourself away from. It's a legitimate puffin party out here right now. Legitimate puffin party. We spent some time enjoying watching the puffins as they flew by, until eventually it was time to move on to our next adventure. All right, we are headed out from Cannon Beach, but it's been a really awesome experience. What do you guys think? This was so cool, seeing the puffins fly around and seeing them interact with each other and just being the grasses on haystack. What a unique experience to see these birds. Did you have fun? Yeah. Puffin party? Puffin party. Puffin party. Our experience of seeing the tufted puffins at Haystack Rock was truly a special one. Every day we went back to this Oregon landmark. We were treated to something slightly different. From seeing them resting in the tall grasses to flying over the beach, we felt happy with the time we got to spend watching these intriguing birds. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Puffin party! I think if you come to Haystack Rock and you see puffins here, you gotta get a puffin party t-shirt. I think it's part of the experience. Then once you see them, you can join the club, get a puffin party shirt. <laughs>